Hey there beauties, it's your girl Kristen here. I'm a licensed esthetician, an educator, mentor, YouTuber, and a mom. I've been doing a ton of videos about entrepreneurship, skincare, facial videos, it's all here on this channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've been posting every Monday for you guys new content, so you're gonna wanna join the family. About a month and a half ago, I posted a question on Instagram and I asked you guys, what skincare brands do you want me to review? And a lot of you guys replied, Dermalogica, so, you asked and now I'm delivering. This video is gonna be a Dermalogica review. We're gonna be talking about everything you need to know about working with Dermalogica from a professional standpoint and about their products. You guys did ask me a lot about their peels. You guys asked a lot of questions, so we'll also be doing a Q&A about Dermalogica in this video as well. So if any of that interests you, make sure you grab a pen and paper and continue watching. guys for joining me in this video and using your precious minutes of your day to watch this video. I cannot stress to you guys enough how grateful I am for every single one of you guys. Make sure you comment below if it's your first time tuning in. Go ahead and hit that like button if you're already excited for this video. I know a lot of you guys had a lot of questions about Dermalogica and I did my very best to gather as much information as possible. A little bit of a background with my experience with Dermalogica. I did actually, it was the very first skincare brand that I was introduced to in beauty school. In my experience using Dermalogica, I mean, this was in the very beginnings of my skincare journey. I didn't really know what um, to expect out of a product. I'm always open to trying things, and I think as an esthetician and a consumer too, to be open to trying things, because sometimes um, companies can be great at one thing and not so great at another thing, and so I really wanted to try to dive into what Dermalogica had to offer. I did get a trial kit sent to me so I will be opening this up for you guys and I also did get a trial kit of their peels which you guys asked a lot about their peels so we will talk a little bit about this and then they did give me a pro power peel post procedure kit this is what you would give somebody after administering a peel we will be diving into that a little bit but overall okay let's start from the beginning say you are interested in purchasing Dermalogica how do you go about doing that so if you are a consumer you can purchase Dermalogica from their website or actually they are um, sold at retailers like Sephora. From a professional standpoint, if you guys are a licensed esthetician, you do have access to professional products such as the peel. If you're interested in professional level products, you are gonna have to have your license. I mean, it's pretty simple. I went to the website, found the contact information. Um, usually on skincare brand websites, they have an option for opening a professional account. So I followed the process that Dermalogica had on their website. So immediately I was sent a confirmation email and then about a day or so later I received a text message from my rep. I did get reached out to by the regional person. We were texting, you know, back and forth and she was wondering what I was interested in and I said, you know, interested in trying out some of the products and obviously like I could have gone to Sephora and like purchased things but I know a lot of the questions I was getting from you guys was about their professional peels and there was no cost to these kits by the way. Let me show it to you just so you can kind of get an idea of what to expect. Oh, this is how it comes. So of course they're going to give you some brochures. Here are the products that came with the trial kit. So there's the pre-cleanse, um, the special cleansing gel, the daily microfoliant, and the multivitamin power exfoliant, which is a professional use only product. The Biolumin C Serum, which is their number one selling um, vitamin C serum. The Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50. The Vitamin Power Recovery Mask. And the Skin Resurfacing Cleanser. Antioxidant Hydra Mist. The Skin Smoothing Cream. And the Multivitamin Power Firm. And they're pretty decent sized products. And then here is their peel kit. But before we get into this, so keep watching. We are going to go over the peels um, together. But when I asked her what other requirements there were for starting an account with Dermalogica, she did say that there is a $1,000 minimum. So meaning you need to purchase a starting order of $1,000 and then from there you can order whatever you want. And then also she asked for pictures of my studio 
or where I'm working. Um, and I tried to ask her like why, because I didn't really understand why. And she's like, oh, I just wanted to like see it and see if there's like enough wall space or something like that. I don't know if they require you to have certain retail. Like I, she didn't really specify. If you guys know, comment below, let us know what maybe they, if you carry Dermalogica, like what, why they even want to see your space. But, um, and then she obviously wants a proof of your license. So you're going to have to send a photo of your, of your esthetician license. And then she did also talk to me about, um, a PO class that, um, would be held via Zoom. Unfortunately, because I'm freakishly busy, I, I couldn't tune into that. They run through a facial with you and you do the peel on yourself. I think that's pretty cool that they would have that option available for them to kind of teach you how to use their, their peels. Um, the peels. Make sure you watch to the end just because I'm going to be giving my overall kind of like rating for Dermalogica. Really, I'm not going to know what that is until I use them on clients. What's in here is the One Step Prep Solution, the Ultra Bright Peel, the Advanced renewal peel, the age reversal repair, and the power clear peel, and then the neutralizing solution. So they give you everything that you would need for administering the peels. And then she did actually send me um, a couple pamphlets. She sent me and they're all they're all on my computer here so I'm gonna be looking down here. So the ultra bright peel is a 30% lactic acid. It's supposed to hydrate and brighten. Then there's the advanced renewal peel which is use, using glycolic acid. It's a 30% glycolic acid with prickly pear flower extract. Phytic acid so it helps reduce the appearance of pigmentation, minimizes appearance of fine lines and evens the skin tone. There's the age reversal peel which uses a 15% TCA which really helps to minimize the appearance of deep lines and wrinkles and reduces hyperpigmentation and brightens dull skin. Then also the Power Clear Peel, which is a 2% salicylic and 25% mandelic acid and malic acid. I think it's cool too that they include the, the kit with it and I guess what comes with it is the Ultra Calming Cleanser, the Barrier Defense Booster, the Calm Water Gel, and the Invisible Defense, which is a 30 SPF. So. Um, whoever I end up doing the peel on, I most likely will be giving this to them. I think the rest of this review is going to come together after using these products more throughout this week. I'll make sure you continue watching to the end because I'm going to be giving my final thoughts and giving Dermalogica Kristen Marie rating. The overall experience and rating the products themselves. Um, I'm also going to be doing the Q&A at the end as well so that you guys can get the answers to more of your questions. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you continue watching. What's up guys? So it is the end of the week and as you can see we are here in my room. I am filming this at a very late hour so I apologize if I'm speaking a little bit more low or my voice is raspy. It's been a long long work week. This whole week I've been able to test out the products that um, were given to me in the sample kit and do just a little bit more research on um, the products themselves and then I also have my phone here so that I can answer your guys' questions. Let's dive right into that and then we will wrap up the video with kind of like my final thoughts about Dermalogica. So first and foremost, I did use the products on clients. I used them specifically like two treatments um, on two different clients with two very different skin concerns. One of my clients, Rosa, she is in her 40s, I believe, actually going to be posting a full Dermalogica facial for my next video, which will be featuring Rosa and the peels we did on her skin. And I also did a treatment on my client Shivani, who I have also already done a facial video with her, and she's the one who has that very cystic acne going on. So I thought those would be two really good clients to try them on because one, Rosa is very experienced with skincare, with, you know, she used to work in the industry, she's gotten a lot of facial treatments, and she's always somebody that I like to try things on because she loves to give me her honest feedback and Shivani is a great um, person to try it on as well because she's got the acne going on. Let's start with Rosa. So Rosa, we ended up doing um, three different peels on her, um, which I will get into how we were able to do that. Right immediately after her skin was very smooth, very bright. I actually really liked how her skin looked as well and I used only Dermalogica products on her. I have followed up with her in the last couple of days. She said that she had experienced like a little bit of redness on her skin. She was really enjoying um, the results that that facial gave 
her. I also did give her the post treatment kit so she was able to use some of those products. She really enjoyed the post treatment kit. She said she really enjoyed the barrier defense booster and the calm water gel. Those are very like more soothing kinds of products. Obviously products that you would use after intense peel so those were some of her favorites and then I did follow up with my girl Shivani, the one with the acne. She said that her skin was feeling pretty dry um, that the peel that I had done on her was a little bit a little stronger than she anticipated so I of course advised her how to like take care of the dryness and stuff but um, for both clients, no peeling has occurred just yet. I am a little bit surprised, um, for especially for Roses, because we did do a 15% TCA on her. And so maybe she'll peel like at some point during the process, but she has not told me she's experienced any dryness or anything like that. Shivani also has said she has not experienced any peeling. That, that was the feedback that I got from those clients. But I, I got good feedback overall. I got good feedback from the clients. I wanted to actually like dive more into the ingredients and um, what kinds of products Dermalogica offers for the professionals and for consumers. I did pull up Dermalogica's website and I was able to find this really, really good resource it's called The Book. The Book is basically a whole like online database of their products. It goes into their, I'm looking at my laptop here by the way if you're wondering what I'm looking at. It goes into pro uh, professional products, retail products, and like different categories. So you can actually search them by skin concerns. It breaks down in to like cleansers, exfoliants, massage, masks, toners, like all of those things. I include that link down below for you guys. And I really, I really think that's great that they did that. Even if I don't have a pro account just yet, I'm able to access this library so that I can see, you know, what kind of products that I potentially would be working with. So if you are really, really curious about their products and um, want to see what they offer, then go ahead and check that website out. Also what I did is I kind of went and I compared um, like the types of products that they have to like what I'm currently using. Everything that I use in my back bar, I was able to find kind of like the equivalent of that product in Dermalogica with, you know, the exception of one or two things. There were a handful of Dermalogica products that were just kind of like foo-foo products. And actually when I dove deeper into that book website, I did see that you can customize and, and add those more like potent ingredients to the treatments. I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised by that because I was kind of looking through their stuff and I was like, oh, this stuff is just like pretty basic. I'm not really impressed by it. And then once I really started to dive more into it, I started to see that there really is the opportunity to customize and to get really like creative with with their skincare. They have a variety of products. They're able to really target every single skin concern that might be out there. One thing I did notice is that they didn't have a ton of like award-winning products. You know, Dermalogica is definitely known for some of their like key products like the pre-cleanse and the micro daily microfoliant and the multivitamin power mask and things like that. So they do have a couple of products that are well known, but I didn't see like a lot of them. I didn't see a lot of recognition. So what I did notice is that they don't have like distinct um, like categories. Like, you can obviously narrow down their products to like concerns like acne and aging and things like that. But I think what I really like about Image in particular is that for a newer esthetician, you're able to in, in image go to like the Ormetic line for like the sensitive stuff and for the clear cell to the target acne and to Illuma to target pigmentation. Like it's just very clear which products do what. And I felt like with Dermalogica you do kind of have to have a little bit more experience and product knowledge to understand like which products to use on which skin type. For a newer esthetician, that might be something to consider. And let's just like dive right into some of your guys' questions because I think that that's like really what's gonna bring this whole review together. If I have already addressed it earlier, I'm not gonna address it now. So these are really just gonna be those like key questions that I receive either multiple of or I think are really helpful for everyone to hear. So I got a couple of people saying, you know, is Dermalogica actually good? I'm not a huge fan of it. What's your thoughts? Like I said, was introduced to Dermalogica uh, when I first started beauty school and I used them not really knowing like what to expect out of a product. Me using them, I didn't feel like super excited about them to be honest. And, and what I'm realizing though is I think at school we don't really have access to all of the like custom serums, all the things that I've been able to kind of like research now and then play around with the peels and stuff. So I would say I probably had a very like small 
idea of what Dermalogica was back then. I just kind of went off of like the reputation it had, which Dermalogica has been around for a long time. Let's give it that credit. It's been a lo it's been around for a while. It's got a really good um, like global presence. They have, you know, multiple locations of like trainings and things like that. But for some reason their reputation is kind of like not the best. To me, them being available at a retailer like Sephora to me is kind of like a sellout. Products are available to everybody and I don't need to go to an esthetician to be able to like purchase these. A lot of other brands too you can purchase online, but you won't find an image product in a Sephora. And to me like if a pro product is sitting next to a retail product, it makes me feel like those products are at the retail level versus pro level or medical level. And it makes me question like why. But I will say I think that mis that is a little bit of a misconception just because I never really actually researched into their lines and their products and now that I've done some more research and used some of their stuff I'm like okay I can give them a little bit more credit than I feel like I've been giving them in the past. Obviously I got a lot of questions about the peels. Peels I'm going to give you a lot of info about which peels are available. The one that I didn't mention earlier was that they have an eye area peel which I think is pretty unique. I don't think I've seen any other company have a an eye peel not sure how it works if you guys have experience using it yourselves make sure you comment down below let us know how you like it um, or you know results you've gotten from it as far as their peels I think it's really really cool that you can customize them so you can actually mix these peels the only part that wasn't clear exactly was how to mix them or how to layer them because um, each acid kind of delivers differently. I would have liked a little bit more of a clear guidance on that But I think if I would have been able to take their class because they do have that I'm sure I could have asked that question and someone could have clarified I thought that was really cool to be able to mix these peels and be able to do up to three of them at once on a person Only thing I wish they would have had was a like introductory peel. I think a lot of companies kind of lack in that though I only know um, like one or two companies that offer an introductory or like walk-in peel. So I would have liked D Dermalogica to have had something like that for like a first time guest because these peels are pretty potent. I mean, you're talking about a 30% glycolic, a 30% lactic acid, 15% TCA. From what I've seen with my clients that I did put them on, they were potent. They did their job. Now, as far as like long-term results, I can't really I can't really tell you what the long-term results would be, but I the feedback I got from my clients was that it was pretty much up to standard as to the other peels that I've done on their skin before. I like that you're able to customize and mix with them. I think that's very unique. I haven't seen that a lot in other brands, so I think that was cool. I would not put them on clients that you've never worked on before, so make sure you're using them on clients that you've been seeing for a long time and that you know their skin and they know how their skin has done with your treatment so that when you do the new stuff they can tell you oh this was different or I like this or I didn't like this and then I mean a lot of you guys asked me about like what my favorite products are I think obviously I'm always gonna love the pre-cleanse the pre-cleanse is like really great at removing makeup it's it's it smells nice it feels nice on the skin the daily microfoliant so the daily microfoliant I don't know I I think there's better exfoliants out there uh, I think a lot of people have used that product and have told me like clients have told me like I used to use that and they didn't really see a huge result with their skin so I think there's better ones out there but it's not a bad product either so it's really kind of up to like your personal preference and I think you just need to try stuff out okay so some of you asked about prices I'm only doing I'm only mentioning image a lot because I use image in my back bar so I went and I, I looked at the prices of like image pro retail products versus um, Dermalogica retail products and I noticed that there was just a slight difference I didn't notice consistently that Dermalogica was more expensive or less expensive it was kind of just various depending on the product I will say I think their price point is a little bit higher than I would anticipate some of their products to be and pro wise I can't really tell you how much products are gonna be pro for the pro products just because in order to open that account I have to spend a thousand dollars and I just I wasn't gonna do that I'm sorry guys like I know it might seem like I'm balling but I'm really not that balling to go like drop a thousand dollars on this on this account but let us know maybe if you carry Dermalogica comment down below also did notice that there was 
more product um, even though the products were a little bit more expensive you did get a little bit more product you know it all breaks down to like being pretty reasonable all those higher-end brands that we all know of that are just like ridiculously expensive I don't think Dermalogica is in that category now I'm sorry I'm not going to answer questions about what products I recommend for what skincare concerns because I don't feel like that's like the point of this video go and research them on just like the website itself you can actually um, select your concern and it will show you the products that can target that specific concern. It looks like I think I covered all the common questions that you guys had and now I'm going to give you like my overall thoughts about Dermalogica. Um, my overall experience with the company so far, I would say I'm going to give it an 8 out of a 10. And the reason why is because when I had first requested to get that trial kit, it took a really long time for them to send me that dang trial kit. I would say a month and a half for me to actually get the products in front of me. They did not want to send the trial kit to my home. Though I do have a business address, like my mailbox is like this big. And so I told her, I was like, I'm not gonna be, I don't think it's gonna fit in there. So they sent it anyways, just to see what would happen. And of course the package got returned. I don't know what she did, but she pulled some strings and she was able to send them to my house. She was really slow at replying to my texts. I think, I think personally, like it would just be more professional to like keep it via email. I didn't feel like I could ask her a lot of questions. She just kept referring to like, oh, well when you open a pro account, you can do this and this and that. That's the only reason why I'm giving it an eight out of 10. Products themselves. So would I invest in Dermalogica? Do you have a thousand dollars to really open up that account and is that worth it? I think it would be much easier to go with a different line that's gonna allow you to just open up an account with no fees, no minimums, nothing like that, and you can just start trying their products. I really think that that would be best route for a newer esthetician. If you're someone who's like in my position, who maybe has the funds to open up the account, try things out, try the trial kit, if you fall in love with it, then yes, I think absolutely, I think Dermalogica would be a great line to go with just because I enjoyed the ability to customize and if you are more experienced with the ingredients and things like that. I will say I did really enjoy the fact that Dermalogica has all these resources online. They have a lot of education available. Um, you know, they have multiple locations where they do trainings. Um, they have reward programs. So if you spend a certain amount of money, you can get um, money back or points. And I enjoy companies that give back to their their um, professionals. That's kind of like my overall thoughts about Dermalogica. I think I personally have not given them as much love as I probably should have and I think it was just a lack of knowing and education. For you watching this, um, really just simply trying the products is always going to be the best thing possible for you to try the products, get the trial kit, try out the peels, see what you think. As far as what I saw with using certain things, it, it matched up pretty well to the things that I have in my back bar already. Was I super, super impressed by it? Mm, you know, it was good, but I'm not like jumping out of my seat saying, yeah, okay, now I'm gonna go and switch all of the stuff that I have to Dermalogica and open up account and spend a thousand dollars. I'm not gonna do that, you know, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, I'm not gonna do that, but if you're in a position where you're open to it, then maybe it's definitely something you can consider. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Please like this video, comment below with any questions that you have. Hit that subscribe button because you're gonna want to be a part of the family. We are growing, we are thriving here, we are bossing up together. I will continue to be as transparent with you as I can. Let me know what, what skincare brand you want me to review next. Make sure you tune in next week. I will be posting a facial video with using Just Dermalogica so you guys can check that out. As always, I will see you guys next week back here for some new content. Until then, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.